Glasgow. I've been expecting you. Nice briefs. I really don't want to talk about my underwear right now. How appropriate. Cop with your pants down. <laughs> Quit the fancy talk, boss. It doesn't impress me any. I'm taking you back with me to Space Command Central, where you'll be tried for crimes against the galaxy. I don't think so, Blasto. But nice try, anyway. What? Oh, dear. Okay, one moment. Hey! Play nice! Okay, um, apparently I missed quite a bit in the previous chapter. Um, namely just like a whole nother path that would have taken me to, uh, an arena where I would fight, um, the evil Blasto clone. And beating him would have unlocked the little hub thing where I can go back to, uh, levels that I've previously completed. I have no clue how this happened where I missed all of that. Because the path seemed fairly straightforward. So, um... Yeah, look, looks like I'm fighting the final boss now. I was not expecting this. I was expecting like at least two more parts, but um, oh, okay, we're we're doing this. We're doing this live. I have to have that looked at. Uh, I have no clue what I'm doing. I'm I'm just going to run because I'm in my underwear. He is in a giant mecha suit. Oh my god, that pack is my friend. Get in the air, Blasto! Okay. Is the mini nuke doing anything? Okay, he is murdering me. I don't know what I'm doing here. I, I really have no clue what I'm doing. But it seems like I was doing damage. I think. Wait, is this actually hurting me? Are my normal shots actually hurting me? I, I don't know, I can't tell from where I'm sitting. Um, okay, what, what's up here? Nothing. Not a thing. Okay, yeah, and it looks like he has heat seeking. Whatever. This is not a time to sing, Blasto. Okay, it looks like I am hurting him, but he's also hurting me quite a bit. Okay. Whatever, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and just cheese through all my lives because at this point I don't really care. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's an optimistic thing to say, but um, I don't know. Uh, oh wow, helpful spawn too? Okay, cool, I'll take it even though this won't matter in the grand scheme of things. How will it? Yeah, I have no clue if I'm hurting him or not. Uh, will more goodies spawn for me? That'd be really nice. What are you? Oh, the chill co. Screw it. Maybe you you can be useful. I don't know. Oh wow. Okay. Uh, yes, chill co. Go ahead with your bad self. All right. I take back everything I said about you, chill co. All right, well, some of the things I said about you anyway. Not everything, not everything. Love that All right, well, uh, well, something else spawned for me. Let's see, what are you? Ow. You were health. Okay, well, well, something else spawned for me. Yeah, this is what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm just running around until uh, something spawns. That's useful. I guess in the meantime, I can do some of this. Is this working? That is the million dollar question. Ooh. 
It doesn't seem like it, but he's flinching, I assume. Oh wow, it actually is. It's just... He takes a large amount of hits to do, like, one little piece of damage. Love that thrust. Yes, love that thrust, Blasto. Love that thrust. Now, where is something to spawn that's very nice for me and the Heezy? For Sheezy? Random words that rhyme. Snoop Dogg, help me out here. Okay. We'll, we'll just stick with this. Okay. Yes, this, this is effective. 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 He's about to kill me yet again. But I don't care. Because I'm doing damage to him. Slowly but surely. Is he dead? Is he dead? No, he's not dead yet. Die, Bosk. Die, Bosk. Bosk. Boss. You good little alien. And die. Plain and simple. This is taking forever. Okay. Is he dead? Oh no, he has a second form. Screen flare! Oh no! I can't see! What's going on? Is this a glitch? And oh dear god. Okay, um, I have no clue what's going on, and I am scared. I have no mouth, and I must scream. Okay, come on, yes, just shoot everything. Let's hurry up before I die. Okay. Um, I'm frightened, and nervous, and nervous, and frightened. And everything in between. I'm dead, okay. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know how much damage I, I did, no damage at all. Um, this terrain is very scary. Okay, if there's lava and stuff over the lava, that can only mean that there's invincibility somewhere. And if there is, I kind of want it, like, right away. Alright, well, health will do, but I mean, it's not going to help me out in the grand scheme of things. Alright, rapid fire, you know what? shoot in his general direction. Maybe I will do damage, maybe I won't. It, it looks like I wasn't. Oh, it looks like I'm gonna have to do a leap of faith for that, uh, invincibility. I, feel, I thought I saw some invincibility. Oh, wow. Okay, leap of fail! Leap of fail. Leap of fail. That was a leap of fail. It was a leap of fail. Let's try again. Okay, now I'm in business. Now I'm ready for your ass. If you would stop dodging. All right, Noah, let's try and grab as much stuff as we can right now. Oh, Adam Scatter, where are you? I miss every single shot. <laughs> uh, they're gonna be so proud of me. Uh, who's gonna be proud of me? I don't know. Um, oh my god! Did the Choco do that much? I think the Choco just decimated like half of his health. If so, that's pretty freaking amazing. But he's also decimating my health. Okay. Our, our normal shot's effective because he's moving way too fast for me to actually charge up my stuff. But it looks like they might be. Oh, I got five continues? Alright, yeah, let's use them. Oh, yeah, 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 it looks like my normal shots are doing damage. <coughs> okay! Well, like I said, I don't care anymore. This is the end of the game. We're just gonna go ahead, tank everything while spamming shots. Non-stop shooting. Because this is blast though. That, that's all we do. We, we just blast indiscriminately. And strafe right into molten lava. Or, well... Yeah, yeah, this, this is lava. 
unless we're inside some caves. Then it's magma. And considering all the rock formations and stuff, yeah, that, that might be magma. So I take back what I was saying. It's not lava, but it's magma. Or heated flooring. Okay. This is like the most anticlimactic boss fight ever. I'm exhibiting no real skill here. But as I was saying, I was not prepared for this and I have not encountered a save point. So, yeah. Take it for what you will. Take it for what you will. I regret absolutely nothing. <sighs> See, I was just coming in with this, you know, ready to record for like 20 minutes or so. It's like, until I get to the next save point. Now it's like, you know, I'm fighting a giant alien robot mecha boss head thing. It's like, I wasn't really expecting that, so... Yeah. Just saying. He's almost dead. Like, do like hella dead, okay? So, come on, just, just die. Boss. Boss. Stop taking evasive maneuvering and just die already. You have one hit point left. I have four more continues with five lives each. Just be a good little alien and die. Please. Please, I'm, I'm asking nicely, boss. I'm asking nicely. I'm asking nicely. I'm asking nicely. You know what? Fine. Fine. He wants to end it with style then. Okay, fine. Cool. I will find a power up. And I will finish it. Wait, he's not shooting at me. Is he... Did he dead? Did he dead? What's going on here? It's too quiet. It's too quiet. I am unnerved. And creeped out. There is health. Yum, yum. Yay, he did! This is the end, boss. No alien horde, no robotic costume, just you and me. Have mercy, Blasto. I have money. Riches beyond your wildest dreams. Help me. Together we can rule the universe. Don't waste your breath, boss. There isn't enough money in the galaxy to buy me. I have women. The, the largest hair on this side of Zantax 5. <laughs> All eager to do your bidding. The largest in the galaxy, eh? No, you twisted little swine. I'm <laughs> Captain Blasto, protector and hero to women, not master and jailer. Very well. Have it your way, then. But if I'm going down, you're coming with me. What the? Darn you, Bosk. What did you just do? A fail-safe, Blasto. I'm an evil tyrant, remember? You think I wouldn't have this place rigged to blow? Blow? That's right, Blasto. Explode. You have about two minutes to get out of here before the whole place is turned to atoms! <laughs> oh, of course. An escape sequence. Ha! All this practice, and your aim still sucks, Captain Butthead! What? What? No! I'd love to stay in chat, boss, but I've got to find a way off this rock real fast. Please tell me this is going to be automatic. Am I moving or did the game freeze? Okay, no, the game was loading. But yeah, was it me or was that like throwing off some serious Star Wars Episode 3 vibes? I was almost expecting Blasto to be like, YOU WERE THE CHOSEN ONE! But alright. We're treating some nice little animated cutscenes right here. This has gotta do something. Yeah, for PlayStation era, this is not looking all that bad, I must say. Although it's no Chrono Trigger for PlayStation. Then again, I mean, come on, you had freaking Akira Toriyama helping you out with that, so... Yeah, of course, not everything's gonna look like that, but, you know. Alright, nice little explosion there, I ain't gonna lie, that, that was that was nice. 
And that was disgusting. <laughs> what was the point? Space Command Central, come in, Space Command Central. Blasto to Space Command Central, come in, Space Command Central. Blasto? Blasto, is that you? My God, Blasto, it is you! It's me, all right, Commander, with a big mission accomplished. Uranus is littered with extra crispy bad guys. You might want to send somebody up there to hose the planet down. Either that or have a bake sale. <laughs> Good Lord, Blasto, we thought you were done for, man. It got kind of close down there for a while, but nothing I couldn't handle, sir. And that little green madman boss. Have we seen the last of him, Blasto? Let's just say, Commander, that if we were in France, he'd be... Le Tourst. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, uh, Le Fin. Blasto is French now. I don't... Okay, um... So, that was Blasto. I just beat it by accident. <laughs> um, yeah, that indie sequence, not all that bad. Oh, dedicated to Dave Poe. Are they going to say dedicated to uh, uh, my guy, Phil Hartman, too? I thought, he, I thought he passed before this was finished, or was it before the sequel came out? Like when they were working on the sequel, but then it never came to be. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that was a blast, though. Um, hmm. I don't know. For all sakes and purposes, that final boss fight, it's not that bad. It's just that little section getting up to it was kind of rough. So I'm not sure if I want to, like, redo this with, um, you know, Blasto's uniform just to see what changes from the ending and maybe show off the evil Blasto clone fight. I... I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't. I don't know what I want to do. Um, hmm. I really don't know. I really don't know. But yeah, all in all, uh, th this was a pretty fun game. Very hard. Very difficult. But it was fun. And I don't really have much bad to say about this. Can we stop sleeping on the couch now? <laughs> but um. Yeah. Yeah. It's not. You know, all that bad. I mean, the controls of coming soon, the further adventures of Captain Blasto. Wow, that's that, that's kind of heartbreaking now. Because, yeah, with Phil Hartman's untimely passing, the sequel never came to be. So, um, yeah, all in all, Blasto, pretty good game. It's just very, very difficult. But it's kind of weird difficulty, though. Like, I don't know what to blame the difficulty on. Like, just, you know, the design of the game itself, or PlayStation 1 limitations, and by that I mean, you know, just things spawning out of nowhere, or just the controls, because the control, I, I don't know, I don't know, it's, it's weird, it's weird, but it's, it's a fun game, nice little sense of humor, and it, it was a fun experience, I enjoyed it. Don't know if I'll ever go back to this on my free time, though, because... Yeah, this was just really hard and really soul-crushing at times, but, um... Yeah, that that was Blast, so I really don't have much to say. Um, thank you, Sony, for making it. Phil Hartman, rest in peace. Thank you for voicing Blasto, and, um... You know, just being a part of... You know, just a whole bunch of comedy history, like Saturday Night Live and... You know, voicing Troy McClure and Lionel Hutz on The Simpsons... Uh, Lionel Hutz is one of my favorite Simpsons characters, too. It's such a shame. But, um, yeah, I don't really have much else to say. Uh, good game, and um, I'm about to go get some sleep. What started off as a 20-minute recording ended up being uh, sub-50 minutes. So, uh, yeah, I don't have much else to say here. So, thank you all for watching, and see you next time for... Uh, like I said, I don't know if I'm going to go back and show off the other ending and... Um, the evil Blasto clone fight, I don't know yet. I'm leaning towards the not really thing. I don't know, I'll see what my friend says, because he's the one that sort of uh, gave me that sheer amount of peer pressure to even get me to LP this. I was just going to play this on my own, but I was like, no, I might as well LP it. But yeah, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. Um, but just to be safe, don't really expect another Blasto part after this. Just saying.
But thank you all for watching and see you next time for what else is to come. Alright then, goodbye.